Good morning, Pastor Brian here. Thank you for joining me today as we read a psalm a day throughout the book of Psalms. Today we'll be reading Psalm 102. As always, we'll be reading from the Common English Bible. So let's jump right in. Lord, hear my prayer. Let my cry reach you. Don't hide your face from me in my time of trouble. Listen to me. Answer me quickly as I cry out. Because my days disappear like smoke, my bones are burned up as if in an oven. My heart is smashed like dried up grass. I even forget to eat my food because of my intense groans. My bones are protruding from my skin. I'm like some wild owl, like some screech owl in the desert. I lie awake all night. I'm all alone like a bird on a roof. All day long my enemies make fun of me. Those who mock me curse using my name. I've been eating ashes instead of bread. I've been mixing tears into my drinks because of your anger and wrath, because you picked me up and threw me away. My days are like a shadow, soon gone. I'm dried up like the dead grass. But you, Lord, rule forever. Your fame lasts from one generation to the next. You will stand up. You'll have compassion in Zion, because it is time to have mercy on her. The time set for that has now come. Your servants cherish Zion's stones. They show mercy even to her dirt. The nations will honor the Lord's name. All the earth's rulers will honor your glory, because the Lord will rebuild Zion. He will be seen there in his glory. God will turn to the prayer of the impoverished, he won't despise their prayers. Let this be written down for the next generation, so that people not yet created will praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy summit, surveyed the earth from heaven, to hear the prisoners' groans, to set free those condemned to death, that the Lord's name may be declared in Zion, and his praise declared in Jerusalem, when all people are gathered together, all kingdoms, to serve the Lord. God broke my strength in mid-stride, cutting my days short. I said, My God, don't take me away in the prime of life. Your years go on from one generation to the next. You laid the earth's foundations long ago. The skies are your handiwork. These things will pass away, but you will last. All of these things will wear out like clothing. You change them like clothes, and they pass on. But you are the one. Your years never end. Let your servants' children live safe. Let your servants' descendants live secure in your presence. That is the end of Psalm 102. And I'd like to know what, what you think, what you heard, what stuck out to you in this particular psalm. And think about what kind of psalm is it. Is it praise? Is it worship? Is it uh, lament, what kind of psalm do you think this one might be? You know, one of the things that I uh, that kind of stuck out to me was this psalm seems to be in, in three different parts. The first part is the psalmist's lament for what is going on in his life and just how, uh, you know, again, that idea of being mocked, of being ridiculed, of being chased by enemies. And, you know, his use of bird imagery just kind of reminded me from, uh, I believe it's a scene from Dumbo, when the crows are laughing uh, from, I believe, the, the fence line, or from the, the wire lines, the power lines, the telephone lines. And that just, that stuck into my brain as soon as I read that when I was reading it with you just now. But it has that portion of it. Then it talks about just the praise of God. And it kind of reminds me of the those, those majestic psalms that we had several psalms ago. We had several of them in a row as well of God's might and majesty. And it talks about that, that, you know, God is everlasting and God's fame will last forever. And then... The, the final part to me seems then to, to focus on the future, the future of Zion, of, of Israel, of God's chosen people, and how God will rebuild, God will claim, God uh, 
has the power to, to bless and to love the descendants, as it talks about in the, uh, I believe, the very end in verse uh, 28. It says your servant's children, uh, and, but descendants works as well. And so, I, you know, the descendants, thinking about the future of who comes next and remembering that, it, you know, in God's great infinite nature, that an entire generation really of, of humans really isn't that much in God's eyes. And so for, for God to show to, for God to show love, for God to, to know that they want better for who is coming next, that the things will pass away and all things wear out, but God is the one who never ends. God is the one who brings love and peace and joy, and the psalmist uh, is waiting for that time. And it, what seems to me more importantly, not necessarily wants it for himself, but for his children and anyone else to come after. And I think that's something we can all relate to in, in wanting the best for our, our kids and our grandkids and, and the generations to come. And how are the ways that we achieve that, both in terms of our faith and their faith, and in terms of the planet that God has given to us, so that it is a planet that our future generations will enjoy too. And how do we continue to make people one and not divided over whatever issue that arises. So again, what did you hear? What did you like? What didn't you like? Write it down. Share it with a friend. We'd love to hear from you and share with us what you heard. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. God bless. And I hope you can join us tomorrow for Psalm 103.